Hey everyone, welcome to basics of JavaScript tutorial 10 in which we're going to discuss function parameters. Now what that basically means is uh, just like we're passing an argument here which gets logged to our console, this is basically called an argument, right? So I can create my own function, my awesome function and I can pass ABCD in here. But what happens now? How does this know that I'm passing an ABCD? Well, for it to know, what you have to do is create a variable here. Let's say this is my string. And notice I'm not using let here, right? You don't have to use let here. You just have to pass it directly. So ABCD gets copied into my string. And now, instead of console logging it like this, I can console log my string. And I can change it to EFGH and hit save. So you can see that we get ABCD EFGH now. Now I can change this in the next function call to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hit save, and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? We do not need these quotes for numbers, obviously. Hit save, and we get it as a number. You can see numbers have a different color in console. So that's to help you, right? So these are called function parameters. What if I want to receive another input? Let's say 1, right? I'm going to say my string 2 here. Now this could be this could be anything right you can name this anything now if i want to do it again i'm going to console log my string 2 hit save and actually let me just comment this out for the moment hit save and we get abcd efgh and 1 right now let's say i want to just call this with 1 2 3 4 5 what happens now what should be the output well we are not passing in my string 2 so it should be well undefined right so if i save it you see we get one uh a b c d e f g h one one two three four five and undefined because in the first call we have this logged as a b c d e f g h then one then one two three four five and then this is nothing right we are not passing it so it logs undefined well let's say i don't want this undefined i want if i'm not passing this to hold the value of zero so I'm going to place it a default value of 0. Hit save. And now you can see that we get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. However, if I wish to pass my custom value here and hit save, you would see that I get my custom value now. So I do not get this default value of 0, but now I get a custom value which I passed. So if you want to set a default value to a parameter, you do it like this, right? However, if you just want to set a custom value, you can just pass it regularly like this. So this was a very quick introduction on function parameters in JavaScript. And that would be all for this video. And I'll see you then in the next one.